It's no secret that housing prices are gonna go down in 2023, but how much are they gonna go down? The answer depends on interest rates and what they do. So today we're gonna to talk about different scenarios, what could happen based on what interest rates do. So let's get into it. First one, we're gonna do the doom and gloom one, the very uh, first one. Some experts, one expert in specific is predicting that interest rates are gonna go up double digits. So Justin, what's gonna happen? If that really happens, what is that gonna do to housing prices? So if interest rates went to 10% next year, uh, I would expect that you we would lose about 25% of our value Dang. in one year, which would be the single biggest reduction in history. And that would be bad, bad, bad news. It would send us into a huge, deep, dark recession yeah. that wouldn't just last like a year, 18 months. It would last several years at that point for us to recover. The chances of that happening, however, I'm gonna put at less than a 3% chance cool. of interest rates getting to 10%. Okay, cool. So what is going to happen if they stay the same or go up a little bit, then what do you see happening at that point? So as of today, the Federal Reserve announced another 0.75 rate. So now they're yeah. right around seven and a quarter, mm -hmm. depending on where you guys live. If they go into the eights or nines, I think you can expect about a 20% drop in values. If they stay in the sevens, you can expect about a 15% drop in value. Okay, and what would you say the likelihood of that happening is? Of them going to 8%, uh -huh. I'm gonna put that at a 25% chance. Okay, okay. Um, as you know, I've said this back in April of 2022, I always felt like the sevens were gonna be where the peak yeah. was going to happen. Mm -hmm. Maybe they dip into the eights a teeny bit, and I can see them going into the high sevens yeah. by early 2023, but th guys, this is the peak. This mm -hmm. is, like you're seeing it with friends, family members, people losing their jobs already, yeah. people cutting back on what they're spending. Like the Fed has been so aggressive that I don't think they're gonna need to go to eight yeah. because this is already going to have a huge impact oh, on sure. inflation. Definitely. And we're seeing it. Um, a couple of you guys have dropped your comments saying just that you know, you know, a lot of people that have lost their jobs due to this already. So we really are seeing the effects of this. Already. Yeah. Oh, so what would you say is going to happen if they dip down to say in the fives or let's do sixes first. Okay. And then we'll get to the good news. Okay. 6% you guys, if rates go down into the lower sixes, not higher sixes, cause that's where we just were, but lower sixes, then you can expect only a 10% reduction in prices in 2023. Okay. If they get into the fives, now we're kind of getting to that level where you're probably only gonna see a 5% reduction in price. And here's why. As you guys know, the value of the house has already been coming down this year. Most people are gonna lose 10 to 15%, not for the year, mm -hmm. but from the peak back in April or May. Most people are going to end the year about where they started yeah. prices started. Mm -hmm. So it's not going to be a huge price reduction, but for buyers, the value of the house is going down. Yeah. So as rates hit five, mm -hmm. it's probably going to be the equivalent back when rates were in the fours because okay. the, the value of the house is down. So their mortgage payment is going to be much more affordable, yeah. even though they're still in the fives of interest rates. That makes sense. So only a 5% loss on the fives. Okay, and last question, do you see it going down to lower than the fives? Um, I don't, um, okay. and I'm glad you brought this up because it will hit the sevens, which we're in, maybe high sevens, maybe low eights, but then it's gonna stay that way. And then April mm -hmm. is gonna kind of be the tipping point okay. where the Fed and lots of jobs will be lost at this point. Lots of people will be struggling. Inflation will really start to have some good signs of decreasing yeah. and then you'll kind of see them slowly bring it down there might be a world where we get back down into the fives in 2023 maybe summertime or or fall of 2023 yeah. mm -hmm. um, but at that point everyone's going to say the sky is falling yeah. the stock market's down everyone's losing their jobs we're going to start seeing foreclosures and is that panic going to spread to the rest of the buyers who are waiting on the sidelines or are they gonna say, you know what? This payment is affordable now. Yeah. The prices are affordable. I'm gonna go for it. 
And so I don't think they go into the fours this next year in 2023. Mm -hmm. um, but if they did, you would not see a price drop. Okay. Four high fours is the area that actually prices would stay the same. And in some areas they would even start to go up again. Okay, so high fours. At a, at a more reasonable rate. And if they hit the low fours, you would see probably close to double digit appreciation. Okay. Seven, eight, nine, 10% appreciation. So watch what these interest rates are gonna do because that's ultimately gonna be our guide and your guide to kind of help you determine how to time the bottom of the market. Yes, yes. And I, we were talking about this before we started filming, but the silver lining, if interest rates do go to 10, which would be catastrophic, people would lose their jobs. The silver lining is that really would help squash inflation. Yes, so, yes. Glass half full. Kind yeah, of there you scenario, go, there right? you go, of course. Glass <laughs> half full. Yeah, so if that does happen, that is the silver lining. And it seems like the high fours in is a sweet spot where it's a healthy level of appreciation. Yep, and if prices drop another 15% next year, mm -hmm. then fives and five percent rates in 2024 mm -hmm. actually you would you could see the leveling off mm -hmm. and some appreciation because 15 percent on you know a five hundred thousand dollar home yeah, that's... right that's a seventy five thousand dollar price reduction yes and so now that five hundred thousand dollar home is now 425 yes. and remember it used to be 575 yeah. back in April of 2022. So now at 425, right. just a year, year and a half later, like that's a significant that's amount of savings for someone. And I kind of like, I kind of like, you know, would you rather pay an extra $300 a month on your mortgage mm -hmm. and yeah. get a $175,000 discount on the house? Yeah. Or would you rather get a two and a half percent interest rate? but pay the extra 175,000. That's a really good point because you really can always refinance when when they go down. I mean, it's going to happen eventually. Yeah. So. yeah. so expect that to happen and that's the best most accurate prediction we can give you guys because it's going to be totally dependent on what interest rates do and yeah, not they're not hitting 10 though. Well, or nine. Hopefully not. But if they do, there's that silver lining. We always like to see say that at least, right? Make sure you guys like and subscribe and follow us so you never miss an update. We will give it to you straight every week and we'll keep you guys posted. So just watch, you will see it here before anywhere else, especially the news because they're usually a couple months behind. So don't forget to like, subscribe.